There's several different types of plugin problems on the ACT. There are these, which you usually have um, multiple variables in an equation, and you plug in and you solve for one. Then there are the algebraic function problems where you have f of x, g of x, stuff like that, covered in the book and in the videos, algebraic functions. Then you have the trig identities, which on the ACT are just plug-in problems. So that's also covered under trig identities in the book, trig identities in the videos. So this is the most common type, algebraic functions second, and trig identities uh, shows up every once in a while. When you do these problems, there's two keys. First, be very careful, be diligent. Literally write down your equation, then write down your list of knowns. So I have V is equal to 10, U is equal to four, and D is equal to 21. Second, don't try to rearrange before you plug in. Uh, you know, it's not too common, but I have a lot of people that come to me and they try to rearrange and then solve. Sometimes that works well for them. It very, it's very person dependent, but in general, it's much easier and much less intimidating to just plug in and then rearrange. Most people already do that. The absolute key though is, is just making sure you plug in the right places. Um, by the way, unless it's a really early problem, like first 10, first 15 maybe, you're very seldom going to solve for this variable. It's usually one of these guys or girls, however you want to gender your variable, I guess. It's usually one on the other side. So these problems, what they really do is they combine two skills. Your ability to sort of translate text into equation and your ability to do algebra operations. Now, in the problem at the bottom of your screen, it's not as tough as, as these can be because they actually sort of give you the, the uh, variable in parentheses. And they may do that when you have a more difficult equation like this one. Um, but a lot of times you're going to have to hazard it out. It'll always work this way, though. There'll always be one variable to solve for. As long as you have one equation, you can only solve for one variable. So if there are two variables missing, then one of them has to be implied. Like if you're looking for the velocity of a ball when it hits the ground, right, um, then the altitude would be zero because it hits the ground. Or the velocity, of, uh, excuse me, or the altitude of a ball at the top of its arc. Well, if you threw it straight up in there, well, when it's at the very top of its arc before it starts falling back down, you know, imagine as a parabola, then the velocity will be zero. That's more of an SAT style thing, but it does show up from time to time on the ACT. Just look for it. Remember, you can't solve for two variables in a single equation. You just can't do it. So let's go ahead and plug in and solve this one. V, well, that becomes 10 squared. And you'll see what I'm doing is I'm not taking any shortcuts here. I, I'm mostly interested in plugging in the right places. I'm not trying to save a step by uh, doing the operations as I go. I encourage you to do the same, even though it can be kind of hard to hold yourself back. It's important because this is really where you could trip up. Now I'm free to solve. Okay, so again, I kind of work backwards up the order of operations, work up the order and set it down. I want to isolate the A term, the term that has the variable I want to solve for, so I'm going to subtract 16 first. And then I divide by 42, A equals 2. So this is a, this is a, a type of problem that really uh, you need to drill on it. So make sure you work the problem set in this. Also, really take a look, especially at algebraic functions. Now, trig identities are great, particularly if you're looking for a really, really high score. But algebraic functions are nearly as common, and a lot of people find them a lot more intimidating. Um, but in reality, for the most part, they're just plug-in problems with no additional skills tested. There are some exceptions to that, though. So work these. You'll be better. You'll do better for it.